We out here. I know I cut off while we was I was talking to him. But I was like, we had to get the get the get. I told him that you finally agreed to move in with us. Yes, yes. We ties on it with trying to talk. Yes, I'ma hook yes. the <laughs> I'm rolling with the rollers. Rolling with the homies. You definitely call me a roller. <laughs> I had to stop and tell y'all. First of all, okay? I ain't like you now. I like you now. But look at this. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. They hate. Okay. Did she want Cleo to be head out of this? <laughs> mm, yeah, mm, no. Because where's it gonna go? Yeah. I'm gonna take it I'm a, oh, yeah. Don't look at my cousin. Don't look at my cousin. Oh Say that. Y'all, I'm tired as a motherfucker. I'm back. Look at sweetie. But we done. Oh my god, we gotta drop the keys off at the other house. We done. Gangsta shit. Gangsta shit. I whip her shit while she with the thug. Alright. We gotta figure out the fuck we eat. What's up, Sue and Mafia? What's up, gang? How y'all feeling in this day? I hope y'all feeling good. Yeah, I'm about to go here looking rough again. I feel like I'm always going to hear it when I have when I'm looking rough because I feel like I'm always just finished doing something. So, I moved. The last vlog I was packing up, so I see a bunch of boxes and stuff, just all oh, looking weird and stuff, but it's because I moved. Um. Yeah, it's been very hectic. But I really hope y'all been doing good. So, my little subscribers. Um, I'm going to have another sit down and talk when I'm actually prepared. But, y'all, yeah, I just been trying to get my studio set, set up and stuff so I can um, come back on you and show y'all some good stuff. But I do have stuff planned and in content ready um, to be posted. I'm just trying to get my new set ready, y'all. I'm coming back with y'all. I want to give y'all good stuff. I want to give y'all good content, honestly. Um, so that's why I've been taking a little minute. Um, but I'm just going to start showing y'all literally like a lot of more behind the scenes. Like me setting up my sets and doing all this stuff. But it's been a week and a half, me moving. Today makes the last day, yo. The last few haul we got to get. The last drive we got to take to get everything back in. I mean, getting to the new house type situation. We move, was moving two houses. That's why I was also moving a lot. But um, we and him now. Um, my mom finally moved in with me. Yeah, it was a lot of banging. Believe it or not, it was me and my sister. Like, we had to make it make sense. And I'm actually happy. And the house we have now is still give us time to um, do, have a lot of space and get my shit done. Okay. I'm excited. Got my mom's here. Um, but yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna pick the camera back up. But I do want to have another sit down and talk with y'all so y'all can actually kind of get to know me and not me be on here looking crazy and rapping and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's a lot coming. A lot in store, y'all. I'm just tired. Really, really tired. Um. I'm not mentally tired. This is just fatigue, like body tired, which I'm okay with because I'm like, okay, I know what I need. I need my rest, but I've been trying to get it here and there. But um, we've been moving, so it's just like I'm going to get it when I get it for real, for real. So after this, I'll finally be able to rest, set up some stuff. I did start setting up and start cutting out some, making more patterns, but I didn't start. Um, oh, I did. I started my fleece things for my new, um, new releases for the fall, winter, or whatever. But that was only two things. I didn't even sew it together or whatever. Um, and I've actually been jotting stuff down so like to get the ball rolling. So when I do pick it up, my brother, it will be like, you know, what I mean, I know where I'm going with it. Yeah. Like, we still kind of know if y'all on my um my uh, Instagram. I took everything down because new content coming up. I don't want to be stuck in like, okay, this is where I keep up with. Just started out, I'm starting fresh. I'm starting new. Um, and things like that. The neighborhood I moved into, I feel like it's um very. The other side of it is very community oriented and people trying to 
help each other in situations like that. So I feel like I'll um, definitely be able to do a lot of my give backs comfortably um, and things of that sort. And I think next door is, I said it was a church, but it's actually just like a facility that they actually help um, people in. And they always out there working in the morning. So I'm actually want to see if like one day out there, if they're cool enough to talk to and be like, oh yeah, how y'all get y'all like a little established so I can like give back. Even if right now it's me just giving up my give back stuff to them and they can orchestrate it but i would love to learn how to like orchestrate my own like give backs and stuff because i have a lot of donations um and stuff that's sitting here um that i'll be wanting to do that's planning but it, it always fall through like it always fell through and it was just like well damn i feel like i could be helping people get back like starting there it's not even people from the dirt dirt bottom type situation i have stuff for different organizations for people who need different things so the one i wanted to do right away was ones who were trying to get back on their feet and try to get clothes to them you know what i mean um my line is for women um but i do sometimes have kids donations and i don't really have a lot of men donations so y'all know some guys that y'all want to give some stuff away too go ahead too this guys need help too but since mine's solely focused on women i do have a lot of women clothes so most of my give back to be to like women and kids type situations but it only starts there you got to build a foundation you got to help yourself first type um situation so i'm kind of excited about that and also excited about um my my uh, company in general like it's just so much that i want to do that i know i'm going to do um it's just gotta be i don't even want to say right timing because i'm not even i've been trying to wait for everything to be right time and right everything and it's, it, it didn't work out like it for me but more so in the right time and as to like when i'm ready right time and not when I feel like it needs to be out if that makes sense because I've been trying to compare myself to other people and all this other stuff and it was like even though you don't want to sometimes you fall yourself doing it today when you see people doing stuff you like you know what I mean it's just hard sometimes but I definitely learned how to like keep my shit and do my shit the best of my capabilities and then put it out then type situation y'all this ain't nothing on my face it's like a little pimple yeah I'm gonna ask you because I'm still moving boxes we taking like a 30 minute break 45 minute break and then we're gonna go get the U-Haul and drive all the way out to we gotta drive out to and come back here. Hopefully we could do that shit in one trip. And hopefully we can go through the alley because also in this neighborhood, like on my media street, is just a couple of nosy people. Um, and I don't like that. I really don't like that, y'all. I don't like you being nosy. I don't like you being like, come ask me, talk to me, be human about it. Don't be weird. Don't be weird. Don't just be sneaky and all this big weird stuff. How stinky pinky? My mom is sleepy. I know, I know. That's her little her little section right there. I'm gonna get it together. Her water bowl and stuff on the other side, toys and her bee, her pillow. I had to give her my pillows because I don't like them um Ruffler pillows. They too too soft. They be feeling like um I know it's choppy, y'all. I know it's choppy. Please be kidding me. And also, forgive me. Listen. I think I know what I need to do to get more productive. And get this shit out of here. Just read it organized so I get more motivated to actually do something. But then you come up with a concept for if you did. I got it. I got it. Alright. It's a funny. I'm just so tired. I gotta finish doing shit. And I ain't even keep getting the chance to uh, get, pick the dang phone up. Oh my goodness. But anyway, I'm gonna have to get my shit together. I'm not be right. Thanks, sweet. You know what I'm mean? saying? My lips actually shit because I'm dehydrated as a mofo. Mm. Whatever. I feel like I have to get another shower. Sweet enough, yeah. So, 
up, gang? How y'all feeling in this bag? Hey. Hope y'all doing good, though. OG. I'm about to get my day started. Okay, finally about to get up. I still got boxes and stuff to do. But it's all right. Just now look. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's a fit today. Ain't too saucy. Ain't too saucy. Ain't too, you know? But it is what it is. Gang shit. Gang shit. <laughs> you know what it is. But, um, yo, I'm about to go get in here because I've stopped and saw y'all like this. See me. And then y'all can help me on finish unboxing my studio downstairs and start on some stuff for this collection. I am five days behind, but that's all right. Getting stuff spedaddle, rattle, but biggie, get, 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 get together. Um, make my dog food. My dog's food before. We mm -hmm. Back up when we got back to the house because I mean, it's the barber shop. <laughs> Shrunk it. Anywho, you'll see me. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this one, but if I feel like I don't want, I don't like it too much, I'm gonna have my mom take this down a little bit. I think that's what's really bothering because this shit don't even look. I think I gotta brush it. But I really hate when I don't get a good haircut. I do. It fucks up my mood. It fucks up my mood. It really do. And I'm still looking for the barber. I need one. But this fucks up my mood when I feel like <laughs> I'm gonna be a new kid. Okay? I'm about to get my hair retwisted and see if it looks any better. But I'm honestly not gonna look too much. Holla at me. Leave some comments down below. I need a consistent barber. Okay? One every two weeks, nothing, too, you know what I mean? Nothing hard, nothing, nothing. I'm here, you would pop up on me. I prefer one that you bring home. But y'all let me know, because I be hurt. I'm one of those people that really be hurt about their haircut. I am picky, child. I really am. I'm simple, but I'm picky. Like, make this shit look good. Well, anyway, I'm gonna do what I do, baby. I'm gonna do what I do. But, anywho, y'all, so, let me tell y'all this. Yeah, I'm in the bathroom because I'm supposed to be waiting for this homeless guy. Or whatever. Not homeless guy. He's doing very well. I met him because he was going through the trash and he um needed something to put his bag in or stuff in. So I was like, oh yeah. Round down with the bag, round down there with the bag, gave the bag, bam, told him to come back. I had some water for him in his little outside box or whatever it is. I said, then I left the stuff out there because y'all know I'm a little old. I said, I'm gonna put this black bag out here and I know he's gonna come back, but he said around when it's dark. Sweetheart, somebody else came and took that bag. That was also homeless and they ate none of the food in there. But long story short, I found him again. He walked by his house and was like, what's that? Like, he told me he y'all he got somewhere to stay. Like that's really exciting. Somebody does you see homeless and then now you know they got somewhere to stay. Shit is lit. But long story short, that's what I'm about to do finish run. See if he out here. That's what I'm doing. I always want some extra shit. Who the fuck told him to run around and see if the fuck I think I am? Superman shit. Superwoman. Fuck. I love eating food, made me happy. So if I can give someone else happiness, everybody deserves one piece of happiness on God. On big game, a big OG of deal. Even if it's a day, everybody deserves a thing. What's up? What's up? It's the Mafia. It's the Mafia. What it do? What up, gang? How y'all feeling in this thing? Y'all. I don't know what day it is, but I'm gonna add it to that other video when I was showing y'all. I was gonna go do stuff, blah, blah, blah. I've been working, man. I've been working. But what's actually been keeping me kind of happy and like getting my spirits back up is not only me doing my own work and having my own space to do it, it's that I finally 
really, I don't even want to say I really, really believe myself, but I can really see myself going. But that's a different story. I'm gonna have to sit down for that. Right now, y'all, I'm still trying to find this nigga dirt. <laughs> trying to find this nigga dirt. I'm out here peeking out the window. And shit. Y'all, y'all don't know. Which I probably don't because I already put it in the wrong video. We moved around here. You know, and yeah, we moved around this month for just like what, not even four months or whatever. And um, this guy is a home, there's a lot of homeless people over here. It's a shop over here that helps people get off of drugs type situation. But it was this guy, long story short, I don't like going that story time. Um, this guy was walking past and he was um, going and stuff, you know what I mean? And I, I didn't have a camera by day, so everything was just looking suspicious as shit. So I hit the go me. He was like, I said, I put, let me stop copying y'all. I seen he was doing one, and I, nothing inside of me thought he was doing one at all. But I went out and bought, um, came back in and got him a book bag because I see him going through the neighbor's trash. He didn't go through our trash because he's like, but she only got a box. So he didn't go through our trash, but he was trying to find a box to put his stuff, his pillow, and his, um, his yoga mat. He calls his bed or whatever. So I was like, oh. I said, yeah, I know you wasn't bothering nobody. That's why I brought you this bag. So I helped him put the stuff in his bag. I said, actually, when you come back, I'm going to get you some water. Since so you're going to come out here in the nighttime. So I waited tonight for this nigga. Like, I was a little home. I said, I wanted to wait that night to give it to him in his hand. But I didn't see him. And I wanted to go to bed. So I said, oh, well, right, let me put this bag outside. I put little extra little goodies in there, too. Because you know what I'm saying? I'm like, homeless. So I put him, like, my mom helped me, too. She put me a couple of water, two waters. One of her protein short things. Get ready. And so ch chips, crackers, and bananas and shit we put in it or whatever. So the next morning, y'all know I got the wind came out. Then I see these two homeless motherfucking women. Bro, one of them come take the bag. At first I thought she took the bag. Y'all know me. I'm still not mad that she took the bag because you was a homeless person. You know what I mean? It's for a homeless person. Not you though, so it's but for a homeless person. And then when I went outside, I seen the bananas on the floor. I seen the goddamn chips unopened on the floor. I said, this motherfucker took the chips out, but you didn't want the shit. Leave for the person who's full. But now, come to find out, the animals got to it before she even got to it, so she only took the woods. However, them mofos are the same ones coming to poop on our neighbor's porch. That I don't do it, and I'll do that still as shit. If you need it, just ask, baby. Don't do that weird shit with me, because I'm Gemini. And my other side, weirder. You hear me? I really want this man. It's been day four, and I'm looking at him like he he my baby father or something. I'm trying to get you to come pick up the bag. I want to show y'all what's in the bag. Bam. So this is the bag right here. I wanted to stay shut. The other one had this on it too. So I got my logo on that thing. I decided to put, don't let my hand ring. I decided to put a letter out there. You know what I'm saying? Ring the damn doorbell, bro, because I'm really looking for you. And then. time of face wrap and sweaty shit I did some hand soap or body soap this is the one using the doctors and it's like um non-rinsable right yeah it's just foam so you rinse it off so you can wash your body and shit you know that is you know what I mean some good shit and some other good shit down there some utensils and whatnot you know what I mean I wanna know how to come get his bag you just see me all zero say nothing but then I'm about to go there put that thing out there right now and then I'm about to go outside and heal and next year. Because I seen his, um, his, uh, his shopping cart in the bag that I gave him is actually back in the alley. His shit never out there if he ain't out there, especially that book bag. He been using that book, book bag. And I'm low key trying to go outside and put something in the trash, like a little fake fake. I don't got nothing in the trash. That's my port, so I'm just about to walk on that bitch. But my mom waiting for me. I can't find what she's waiting for. So, y'all, I'm gonna hit y'all back if he come. Like, I really want him to come get his bag. It's been like four days. And a part of me thinking them ladies been bullying him. Because y'all know homeless people. Y'all, like, I don't, I don't want to give nobody no too flashy. Because nigga come try to rob another homeless person. It's like, this world's ruthless as fuck. But we be. That bitch better not jack him for this shit. <laughs> hey. Suited Mafia! What's up, gang? How y'all feeling this stuff? Alright, y'all, I just had a couple. Swing down chairs, won't you? Let me ride, oh, swing. Swing down chairs, stop and let me ride, oh, rock and roll, rock and roll. Come and eat, I got a hold on. Everybody down the side. Sit wide, hook the stand.
I'm gonna ask them what they doing with their life. So another episode of helping the community. We gonna help the community. We gonna help the community. The community we're gonna help it. Okay. My baby's so old, y'all. I love her so much. <laughs> Alright, I'm done.